May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Columbia State Community College would like to welcome you to the Webster Athletic Center. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the exits located in the front and rear of the gym. As a reminder, this and all other Columbia State campuses are smoke and tobacco free. For the health of our students, faculty, staff, and visitors, smoking is not permitted in the buildings or on the grounds. We appreciate your cooperation in helping us be a healthy college. In consideration of our graduates, please silence or turn off all electronic devices. Thank you. Morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning inside as well as outside. So it's my pleasure to 
uh, extend a, a welcome to all of you and uh, say thank you to the 17 Lancer Pipers and Drums for that wonderful music. The Columbia State Choir will now sing our national anthem. The choir is directed by Columbia State's instructor of music, Ms. Judith Morehouse, and is accompanied by Ms. Martha Schuster, pianist. Everyone, please rise for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet Candidates and guests, please be seated. Thank you, Ms. Morehouse, Ms. Schuster, and members of the choir for that magnificent performance. And we also thank you for the special music performed as our guests arrived today. To the graduates, to the faculty, to the staff, to family, friends, and guests, it is my most distinct pleasure to welcome you to Columbia State's Fall 2018 Commencement Ceremony. Today is a very special day for several reasons. First and foremost, it is a day of celebration of accomplishments. It is a day of recognition that these soon-to-be graduates set a goal and they accomplished it. So let's start this ceremony by showing our candidates just how proud we are of their accomplishments. If you are a person who tweets, does Instagram, Facebook, we invite you to take as many photos as you would like throughout the day and share them with your followers. And if you would, please use the hashtag CStateGrad. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce those at Columbia State who have chosen a profession of care, nurture, and instruction that results in the personal, professional, and civic growth of our students. And through their work together, they are the skeleton, the heart, and the soul of Columbia State. As I recognize each person or group, I ask that they stand and remain standing until all are introduced and that all applause are held until the end. Dr. Mary Lou Delegro, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Ms. Ruth Ann Holt, Vice President for Student Affairs. Ms. Bethany Lay, Vice President for Advancement. Dr. Darrell Lampley, Vice President for the Williamson Campus and External Services. Would the members of the College Leadership Council please stand? This council is represented of leadership from across the college and is instrumental in shared governance. Would the faculty please stand? One of the most important relationships of the college is between the faculty and the students. Columbia State is blessed with exceptional faculty that are noted for their scholarship, teaching abilities, care
caring, and great concern for the success of our students. With the professional and support staff, both that are up front and throughout, please stand. Admissions, financial aid, registration, business services, counseling, student engagement, communications, advancement, safety and security, maintenance and administration all play a pivotal part in providing for the successful education of our students. Candidates and audience, please help me thank the faculty, staff, and administration for their dedication and commitment to their profession and to the success of our students. Please be seated. Seated to my left and in our audience are the family of our commencement speaker, Janelle Williams, and also representing the Lawrence County Chamber, Ryan Eaglin. So we're glad to have you. Would you please stand and let us recognize you, please? Thank you for sharing this very special day with us. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for the day. Our speaker is Janelle Williams. Janelle graduated cum laude from Columbia State in 2014 as a non-traditional student. After earning her associate degree in mathematics from Columbia State, she continued her education at the University of Alabama, Huntsville, where she earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Industrial and Systems Engineering and Engineering Management. While at Columbia State, Williams served as Vice President of the STEM Club, was a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, was active in STEM Girls, graduated from the President's Leadership Society, received a Tennessee Academy of Science Honorable Mention Award during the 124th Student Presentation Contest and was recognized as who's who among students in American junior colleges. In the spring of 2014, Janelle received an exceptional honor. She was selected as the first female student from Columbia State to participate in the National Community College Aerospace Program at NASA Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Today, she is an industrial engineer uh, with the Boeing Company. She has a demonstrated history of working in aviation and aerospace industry and is skilled in statistical data analysis, industrial engineering, manufacturing engineering, operations research, and Lean, Cigna, Lean Six Sigma, to name a few. And I want to go off script and say that one of the things that's not here that I discovered this morning is in her work at Boeing with NASA, Janelle is working on the top part of the rocket that is scheduled to go to Mars. That's quite an accomplishment. We're just very proud of her. So years down the road when we see it go up or see the film of it, we know that we had a little piece of it from Columbia State. Closer to home, this exceptional young woman is active in her hometown where she speaks to pre-engineering high school students, encouraging young women to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In her spare time, you might find Janelle attending school sporting events for any of her three children, Paige, Ashley, and Jake, are supporting her husband, David, coaching a football game. Please join me in welcoming to the podium our fall 2018 commencement speaker, Janelle Williams. Thank you, President Smith. Faculty, family, friends, and graduates of the class of 2018 for the warm introduction and inviting me to speak today. It's an honor to be here and celebrate this momentous occasion with you. This feeling right now is something that I hope all of you remember as one of accomplishment and reverence as each of you move forward with the rest of your lives and careers. 
As I was writing this speech, I tried to recall a singular instance that changed the course of my educational career here at Columbia State. I regret to inform you that I was unable to pinpoint any one event. But instead, thought of every moment from the first day all the way through graduation day. I remember my first day attending classes at the Lawrenceburg campus. That first day as I got closer to campus, the red light caught me. And if you've ever been to the Lawrenceburg campus, you may know the red light I'm talking about. It's the only one on Springer Avenue. I remember the fear I felt of being a non-traditional student and whether the instructors or fellow students would treat me differently because of my age. I remember how nervous I was and how undecided I was when it came to choosing a major. I also remember talking to my husband the night before classes began about being nervous and his reassuring advice to work hard and all would be well. Well, I made it past that first semester and I thought to myself, you've got this. The next semester came all too soon. I was in the early stages of taking prerequisites prerequisite classes, yet I was still undecided on a major. I didn't know it at the time. Mm, sorry. It was during that second semester that I took a Friday-only science class, and I didn't know it at the time, but that instructor became the greatest mentor I could have ever asked for. Dr. Hudson constantly offered encouragement while at the same time challenging me and pushing me towards something that I thought I could never achieve. He believed in me and convinced me to take a path in which he knew I was capable of succeeding. About halfway through the semester, during that physical science class, Dr. Hudson was talking about women in science and how only a small percentage of women work in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It never occurred to me before to consider a degree in science or engineering. So I stopped on my way out of class that day and asked him about engineering and mathematics and many other STEM fields available for study. The conversation lasted for about an hour, and by the time final exams rolled around, I decided to change my major to mathematics. Then much later, I changed to engineering. It was Dr. Hudson who inspired me the most, and still does in fact. It was at the Columbia State campus during my third semester that my educational experience really started to blossom. Most of my classes were in the Wharf Building, and I had Dr. Hudson for nearly all of them, but I found another mentor in Mr. Wright when I took his linear algebra class. I think he would agree with me when I would say at the very least, it was a very frustrating class. <laughs> there were maybe 15 to 17 of us students, and we were all mathematics or pre-engineering majors, so we were constantly full of questions every time we walked into class or into his office. I know he caught me rolling my eyes a time or two when I didn't understand something he was teaching, but I think he must have had the patience of a saint because he was always so calm. He knew, though, when we would get discouraged over our grades, or with assignments because he would offer additional office hours or would randomly show up in the tutoring lab offering help when he knew we were trying to work on homework or an assignment for his class. Honestly, in his way, he was challenging my fellow classmates and me to do our best work, even if we didn't believe it at the time. I met many instructors during my time here who went out of their way to provide a great education while offering encouragement not only for me, but for so many other students who were willing to grasp at what was being offered. I wanted to learn more. I discovered I had a desire to challenge myself and push myself. It seemed like I was running everywhere, trying to do everything and accomplish as much as possible in a very short time. For me, Columbia State provided a deeper level of learning than I could ever imagine. I'm not just talking about class lectures by the instructors or from reading textbooks for the classes, but also the things I learned from communicating with peers and working in the dean's office or hanging out in the teaching and learning center, working on class assignments, from the leadership training opportunities with the President's Leadership Society, and from working in the science labs. 
plus so many more extras the instructors encouraged me to pursue. By taking advantage of everything that was in my reach and my time frame, I have far succeeded the goals I set for myself. Because of the encouragement and constant push towards excellence from my mentors and family, I finally chose a profession that fit me and I excelled. I'd like to share a quote with you that has great meaning for me and I hope its significance will influence you as well. May the wind always be at your back. It was written on the inside cover of a book on leadership that I was given the morning of, that I graduated from Columbia State. I still have that book and it holds a special place in my heart and everyday life because it is as significant to me as my diploma is. I pull this book from its shelf in my office every so often and read it. One, because it's a good read about providing leadership, and two, because it reminds me of all of the extraordinary accomplishments and lasting friendships that I developed during my time here at Columbia State. It's amazing to think that only four years ago, I was sitting where you are now. I remember being scared and thought I was alone in my fear of what was to come next, even after all of my accomplishments. But the longer I sat in that chair with my cap and gown and tassels, the more courage I had for myself and my future, the more enthusiasm I had for my next steps. By the time the graduation ceremony ended, I had no fear of what my future would be. I knew that Columbia State, the educators, and other faculty members that I had the privilege of knowing, my fellow classmates, and the various clubs and events I participated in prepared me vastly for what was to come. Dr. Smith wrote the quote in that book that I mentioned, May the Wind Always Be at Your Back. It was suitable as a graduation gift from her, and I will always cherish it. The wind has definitely been at my back, sailing me through each new adventure. I offer a piece of advice to all of you today, and I hope you will take it. Stay connected with the network of fellow classmates and instructors you have come to know. Believe in yourself and act with honesty and integrity. The network you have built will inspire you to succeed. Confidence, coupled with humility, will take you far in life. Honesty and integrity, a good moral compass, will keep the wind in your sails. I am proud to say I would not be where I am today were it not for my Columbia State family. Remember, you've got this. Thank you and congratulations to the graduating class of 2018. Thank you, Janelle. In the spring of 2011, the President's Leadership Society was founded. The establishment of this society was based on the belief that leadership is inherent in our lives and that we all have leadership roles. The President's Leadership Society is open to all students at Columbia State and requires only their commitment to involvement for learning, participation, and helping others. To earn the President's Medallion and be a President's Leadership Society graduate, members must, among other activities, participate in a leadership retreat, complete 12 approved activities or workshops spread over three or more semesters that involve activities in the following areas, self-management and goal setting, campus life, culture, civic understanding, community service, and they must graduate and participate in commencement. Today, we have three students who have completed the program requirements and are graduating. Each is wearing the President's Leadership Society medallion, which was presented during a ceremony held earlier this morning. For recognition, I ask that the fall 2018 PLS graduates stand and be recognized. Please stand. Congratulations. Please be seated. 
Dr. Delegro, Vice President of Academic Affairs, will you please join me at the podium for the presentation of the fall 2018 graduating class and the conferring of the degrees. Will the candidates for the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and Associate of Science and Teaching please rise. Madam President, on behalf of the faculty and administration, I present these candidates for the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and Associate of Science in Teaching degree. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the State of Tennessee, I confer upon you the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, or Associate of Science in Teaching degree with its full privileges, honors, and responsibilities. You can be seated. Will the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree please rise? Madam President, on behalf of the faculty and the administration, I present these candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the State of Tennessee, I confer upon you the Associate of Applied Science degree with its full privileges, honors, and responsibilities. Candidates, please be seated. Will the candidates for the technical certificate please rise? Madam President, on behalf of the faculty and administration, I present these candidates for the technical certificate. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the State of Tennessee, I confer upon you the technical certificate with its full privileges, honors, and responsibilities. Candidates, please be seated. Karina Goddard. Malet Iasu Abadi. Bailey Nicole Burcham. Mia Janae Burkeen. Francesca Monique Burns. Michael Eugene Cleek II. Cody Michael Donnelly. Emma Grace Faust. Emily Denise Frost. Adriana Brooke Harden. I need your card, please. Thank you. Ethan Saras Harrell.
Brianna Camille Hawkins. Thank you. Jamie Lee Holbert. <laughs> Ashley Jordan Hooper. <laughs> Samantha Jo Horner. <laughs> Morgan Ray Ingram. Brandy Leanne Jennings. Tremon Jones. Amanda Rochelle Miller. Amber Denise Perry. Cheyenne Danielle Petty. Teren Mary Rudloff. <laughs> Ella Catherine Simpkins. <laughs> Erica Nicole Smiley. Yeah. Joanna Leah Sykes. Richard Allen Worf. Angelica Jean Zudel. Teresa Jean Bowen. Carrie Ann Doolin. Travis Austin Hunt. Caroline Olida Fay. Jordan Renee Weatherly. Carly Ann Debo D'Agostino. Ashley Adams. Janice May. Bromit. Kelsey Janae Collins. Kelsey Amber Darnell. Tell me when. Andrea Hacento. Austin Duane Murray. Jesse Dakota Penrod. <laughs> Kung Lian Sang. Alexandria Wallace Adair. Francesca Blake Lay. Zachary Tyler Blanton. Tori Lynn Danish. Amy Elizabeth Hafner. Card, what, what's your name? James Matthew Dane. your name? Helena Sarah Stevens. <laughs> Ayla Lorraine Rinder. <laughs> Alexandra V. Ashman. Aaron Thomas Reagan. 
Savannah Rose Gibson. Robert William Stevens. Hazel Ann St. John. Isaiah Tristan Hodge. Madison G. Lee. Abigail Lee McReynolds. Akila Monique Moore. Kristen Nicole Schofield. Diamond Burkana Kaylin Alina Alford. Victor Ruben Garcia. Kian Artara Taylor. Kylie Renee Graves. Tiffany Abigail Price. <laughs> Noah Allen Bowers. Caitlin Danielle Corbett. Gina Lynn Torres. Scarlet Faith Jeans Ashby. Bailey Jade Burdett. Mackenzie Lynn Gatos. Gatos. Tiffany Nisha Green. Juliet Barco Han. <laughs> Levi G. Huntley. <laughs> Scott James Scribner. <laughs> Abdel Joel Torres. <laughs> Christian Lee. Kadrin. Honore Tony Octavia Blount. Elliot Gay. Ezekiel David Toma. James Robert Washington. <laughs> Kenneth Tanner Bryant Cormier. <laughs> Katie Cheyenne Mangrum. <laughs> Joshua E. Pewitt. Rebecca Stanville Prince. Deanna Renee Hines. Raven Sue Blake. Emma Jane Farmer. Laura Elizabeth Hollen. <laughs> Ashley Mariana Odell. <laughs> Robert Edward Way. <laughs> Chandler Marie Overstreet. Sarah Oyubai. Star Aracel Ramsey. 
Lexi Adair Shoemaker. Cheyenne Nicole Silva. Candace Elizabeth Thomas. Luke Thomas Boroff. Kayla Lee Rawson. Christian Blake Tomlin. Angel Starana Craig. Benjamin Allen Dowell. Sarah Monique Patton. Andrew Rowe. Graduates, please rise. Commencement, as first defined, is the first existence of anything, act or fact of commencing, rise, origin, beginning, start. Today, we have honored the culmination of your work as a student at Columbia State, which gives rise to your future. Now, you will symbolically begin your new direction by moving your tassel from your right to your left. Graduates, move your tassel. It is, it is our pleasure to confirm today's graduates as Columbia State Community College alumni. At this time, I ask that Linda Boschers and Cody Donnelly join me at the podium. The college and its alumni are represented, are represented by Ms. Linda Boschers, Administrative Secretary of Academic Affairs and an active Columbia State alum. The graduates are represented by fall 2018 graduate and President's Leadership Society graduate, Mr. Cody Donnelly, who plans to be an active alum. All graduates, please rise. Cody. 
Ms. Boshears, standing before you are the degree and certificate recipients from Columbia State Community College that have graduated during today's ceremony. Speaking on behalf of the student body, we request that each of these graduates be formally added to the list of alumni of Columbia State Community College. We pledge our continuing allegiance and devotion to this great college. We ask you to accept our pledge and direct our service. Thank you, Cody. To assist and begin the induction, I ask that all Columbia State faculty and staff who graduated from Columbia State please rise and remain standing through the induction. I also ask that all members of the audience who are graduates of Columbia State to rise and remain standing through the induction. And I ask that any guests in the audience who have attended Columbia State please rise and remain standing through the induction. Members of the graduating class, congratulations. We accept your pledge and welcome you to complete fellowship with the alumni of Columbia State Community College. As the college is important to you, you are important to the college. You are the college's representatives in your chosen fields and in your communities. The strength of Columbia State is gauged by the strength of its alumni. The college has and will be your gateway to fuller, more meaningful lives. The alumni join you in your pledge of service and fellowship that as alumni together, we may continue to grow in service to our great college, communities, and nation. To the newest alumni of Columbia State Community College, we extend our congratulations and we acknowledge your continuing commitment and connection to the college, which is so, so important. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest Columbia State alumni, the graduating class of fall 2018. Graduates, please be seated. This is always such a wonderful day. I enjoy it so much because to me it's a time when to, to watch them walk across the stage and the accomplishment on their face, how proud they are of themselves. And it's a, a very special time and I thank the faculty and staff for what they do and to the students for their commitment and look forward uh, to you as alumni in continuing your work with the college. Many candid photos have been taken by Columbia State staff today. Those photos will be posted on the Columbia State and the Columbia State Alumni Facebook pages. You can get to those pages easily by visiting the college's website, clicking on alumni or the, the college's Facebook and, link, and, and uh, go through the, the link. While you're on the alumni page, we ask that you like it uh, click like as well as on the Columbia State Facebook page so that you can keep up with the many things that are going on at the college so that you are connected. I encourage our graduates that as you set up your LinkedIn page or if you have your LinkedIn page now that you quickly add Columbia State as one of your colleges of success. That way we can also keep up with you and the many accomplishments that you bring to yourself, to your family, and to your community. Immediately following the recessional, a reception honoring the graduates will be held in the Jones Center dining room. Everyone is invited to attend. As we recess, we will recess all the way to the Jones. We ask that all members of the audience, please remain seated until the, all graduates have left the gymnasium, and then please follow us to the uh, Jones Student Center so that you may join your graduates for a photo and for family friend time and some refreshments. Thank you everyone for being a part of this day and this celebration, 
And before we leave, one more time, let's show the graduates how proud we are of them. Thank you, and may the recession begin.